All right, we have a isosceles triangle, meaning two sides are the same. Its perimeter is equal to eight centimeters. And uh, we want to find out uh, its area in terms of the length of its base. So what we can do here is here. Um, perimeter is going to be equal to So, so okay, so perimeter is equal to 2x plus b, and 2x plus b is equal to 8. So what we have is um, x, okay, excuse me, um, so we subtract over there, so 2x is equal to 8 minus b divided by 2. So x can be 8 minus b divided by 2. Okay, so we have that. And, um, well, we still need to find the area, so um, it's just going to be, we need to find the height first. So what we're going to do is the height's going to be equal to, um, so split this in half. So it's going to be um, x squared minus b over 2 squared and the square root of that. And then... Um, So we just need to find that, well, actually we just did find that. So let me plug back in what we have for x, and this is what we're going to get. We're going to get square root of 8 minus b over 2 squared minus b over 2 squared. We get 64 um, minus 16b plus b squared minus b squared all over 4. So the b squareds cancel out, and this becomes a 16, this becomes a 4. And then we can further pull out a 4 from there. So we get uh, 4, we get 4 minus b. Pull that out, so we end up with uh, 2. 2 times the square root of 4 minus b. And then we multiply times uh, b over 2. Because b over 2 is this, and we found this. And to make it a complete square, it's just basically outlying all of them. Um, yeah, hopefully what I'm saying makes sense. I hope it doesn't anger you. But this is right, and I know it is. So the final solution representing the area in terms of b is going to be b times square root of 4 minus b. All right. That's it.